This is the end. It's over. Okay, I didn't film anything this morning because I'm busy running the AAS Hack Day. Uh, so this is our all-day build-a-thon, create-a-thon, think-a-thon, hack-a-thon. So we had like, like 20 amazing project pitches uh, that were already put on the board. Uh, so these are projects that people are going to create out of thin air today and, and invent. Um, my goal today is, of course, to make my daily vlog to finish out the week uh, and also to try to capture and document what it's like to be at one of these events. Now you can go watch the video from last year where I did the same thing, but this year we'll have all new projects. I know it's gonna be an amazing day. Hopefully it's a uh, mildly entertaining video. I dropped my water, pulled a David Hogg, and I dropped it right on the ground. But I will clean it up. This gap is not dependent on the fully convective limit, which is shown in the green dotted line right there. But there is definitely a large difference. And if I was to change these two parameters that, I, that I've chosen, you can see if I flip between the two, I can change the noise properties of the data. If you have students who want to do this, there are lots of new packages to help your students get started with the data, get started finding planets, get started fitting transports. The most obvious one is this gap, a gap in the radius distribution of small planets, which we believe is due to photovibration that was actually discovered prior to Gaia V02. But with Gaia we can now see this for the entire planet population. The reason why essentially stellar H is mostly unexplored as a property uh, to investigate for exoplanets is that stellar H's are really hard. I just gave a talk about Kepler and I forgot to hit record. The camera's all set up tragedy and now back to the hack day how's the sewing hacking going so it's going well um, I've decided to teach myself how to quilt today I want to make a quilted comet um, in honor of Mariah Mitchell and Caroline Herschel who are astronomers and also good with sewing you're winning <laughs> thank you it's going very well would you like to see a demo? I would like to see a demo. So that you can see how it changes the covariance matrix and the predicted mean of your function as you change the hyperparameter by hand. That's actually, I think that's really useful actually. I'm hacking. <laughs> I'm hacking. At Esther Hack Week, I spent all of my time making Esther Hack Week work. Danielle taught me that hack facilitating, well, like you, ha you can do one or the other, but it's very, very hard to do both. Well, you can you can hack your hack facilitation. This is a black hole x-ray binary that does really weird stuff. We're using deep neural networks to make it less weird. So far so good, we've got a couple different things going on. Like sort of like bouncing ideas back and forth about figuring out what's up with the sun only using metadata. And I'm also working on some logo design. For the... It's going. I'm working on a new tutorial. Yep. I'm kind of beta testing an old one to, to see if it needs updated and where we can improve it to make it more accessible to a variety of expertise. Documentation, so critical. Uh, we're working on the, making a website for the Astro Orchid Day Camp. So you can see the single um, at, at the Astronomy's Kevin Bacon or um, the more sort of useful thing for people is to see how they're connected to other people. It's quieter in the poster hall today. It's the last day. A little bit of a harder day. You got late posters and then just a lot of other people sticking around. But it's been a surprisingly busy day for science. I am so happy the League of Astronomers is still a thing. This was, I mean, this started when I was a student 15 years ago at UW and it's awesome that it's still a thing and they still use the name. Go League of Astronomers. In the end, Startro's booth is still hopping. I encourage you to go to the repository, which is linked on the wrap-up slides. So that's the meta hack. 
the one where uh, the let's call it the semi-official uh, repository for all for all of the AAS hacks. So basically, we're making a network where every author, every astronomy author, is a node, and the edges that connect authors are papers that they have co-authored together. In keeping with the spirit of AAS sustainability, the new sustainability initiative, I made uh, reusable coffee cup sleeves. I made a pouch because I needed it. Um, I wanted to avoid using my computer as much as possible today. I learned how to sew and make this. I also learned how to sew and uh, I am almost part way with my travel blanket. And then down here is the Trappist system. Awesome. Whew. We did it. The AAS Hack Day is done. Year seven in the books. Something like 25 slides, awesome garments, cool things made, web services attempted to be launched, internet fought with, a classic hack day. And now the closing reception. This year with mac and cheese, with crab and lobster and bacon. Pretty good. I'd say ranks very highly in the closing reception history. Okay, that's it for me. Double S over.